This is part of my premium course, so if you like this video, be sure to check out usefullaravelpackages.com. Okay, let's take a look at Canvas. Canvas is a Laravel publishing platform that lets you get up and running with a blog within a few minutes. The entire backend for adding and editing posts is done for you already, and you can easily set up the front end to retrieve posts. There's even an included theme if you want to make use of that. If you've used the Wink package before, it's very similar to that with more features. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it. So as always, I have a Laravel project here set up already, and I've already set up the auth scaffolding. Let's go ahead and install it. So Composer require. Okay, that's done. Let's go ahead and PHP Artisan Canvas install. And make sure you have your database set up, and I do already. Cool. And if you look at our database, that should have added those tables, and it did. You see these ones prefixed with Canvas for the posts, the tags, and the topics. Okay. And we have to do this storage link. Cool. Okay, so if you go to the slash canvas URL, then you'll see the back end for creating and editing posts. And we have to make sure we have a user. So I'm going to go ahead and register user, user at user.com, password, password. Okay, and now let's go to slash canvas. Cool. And as you can see, there are no published posts. So let's go ahead and make a new one. So a very minimal UI for writing your posts, which is great. My first post. And let me just copy in or paste in my script for the intro of this video. And you can do code blocks as well. So let me just paste in some code here. Okay. And now if you select it and change it to a code block, then it will format accordingly. Okay, so just make sure you select it from top to bottom so you get this dialog here and you can select this and this will format it. Cool. And you have some other options here like a featured image. Let's go to general, sec general settings here. So you can set the slug. So let's say my first post or does it do this? Yeah, okay, cool. Just hit that and it will take it from the title. So this is the description or the summary, summary for my first post. And for topics and tags, you can add them in here. So it's similar to categories and tags in WordPress. So we can say blog, we can press enter to create one and say front end for a new tag, cool. And that's done. So another cool option is the ability to integrate within Unsplash. So if you go into the config here, so canvas, you'll see an option for unsplash access key. So just go here and you can set one up and then just add this to your env file and you'll have access to unsplash. So let me just do that behind the scenes. Okay, so I've set that up and now we should see an option if I refresh this. to set an image. So we can do it either here or there's also an option for a featured image. So let me just put it right here before the code. And as you can see, there's an option for an image and we can search on splash and we can just select anything. And you can put a caption here or you can just delete it. You can make it wide if you want. So wide would be slightly larger than the container like that. And we can save that. I guess it's saved automatically. Let's see if we can add a featured image here. Again, same interface, just select any image. And we don't need that, it's done. Okay. So there's also options for SEO and social settings. So meta description, Facebook card title, and so on and so forth. Pretty cool. And yeah, let's just go ahead and publish this. And say publish now. If you go back to the main page, you'll see a useful dashboard with all of the stats for your posts and also your post here. So yeah, this is a cool feature. You don't need to install something like Google Analytics 
as it tracks all the information or all the useful information for you. So yeah, like I said, now it's up to us to show the posts on the front end. So like I said, there is a theme included, which I'll show you later, but for now we'll build one from scratch. So let's go ahead and start. So let's go to our routes file and let's make a new route here for our blog. So I'm just going to say route get slash blog. We'll make a posts controller and index posts dot index cool. And let's go ahead and make that. So PHP artisan make controller posts controller. And let's make it Let's make it resourceful. Okay, let's go to that post controller and let's go to index. And if you look at the documentation, there's actually code here which we can just make use of. So this is what we did. We just added a new route for blog and this is the index that we're interested in. So let's go ahead and grab this and we'll make a view in a second. So let's just name it posts. Let's not put it in an array. So let's say posts equals this. Don't need this. And let's just stick to get instead of pagination to keep it simple. And let's make sure to make let's make a folder called posts and index and we'll just pass in the posts here. Say posts, posts. Cool. And yeah, let's go ahead and make that. So resources, views. Let's make a new folder called posts. And let's make a new file called index. And I'm not going to make use of layouts here or any styling. But let's just scaffold it out here blog, let's say posts, and let's go ahead and make a for each here, posts as post, let's, let's make it a list item, and let's just say post title, we'll make it a link in a second, cool, and let's make this an unordered list, okay, so let's see if our post shows up, if I did everything correctly. So let's go here and let's go to slash posts. I mean slash blog. Cool. And does show up. Awesome. So let's make sure we show the summary and also the featured image. And we can just put that within the list item here and just make this a div or an H3 or something. Oops. Let's make an H3. Let's put the summary in a div or a P tag. I believe it's called post summary, I believe. Not sure if that's the right field. It is cool. And let's put the featured image up here. I believe it is post featured image. Post featured image. Okay, and let's put the image here. Okay, cool. And obviously you can just use CSS to style this accordingly, but everything is showing up. And obviously if you had more posts, those would show up too. So let's go ahead and change this to a link. So let's go ahead and wrap this. And let's make a route and let's name it posts.show. And we have to pass in the post or the post slug. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that right now. So post slug. So it's going to be this is slash post name. So that's going to be slug. And it's going to be post controller show. And let's name it posts show. Cool. Let's go back to our controller and let's go to our show method right here. And I'm going to change this to slug. And there is code for this already in the documentation. So we'll just steal it from there. 
So right here, no, get post is the index. So find post by slug is show. So I already, I already changed the parameter to slug. So let's go ahead and just copy this and paste this in. Cool. And we just indent that. Okay. And it's just grabbing the post where the slug matches, whatever is passed in. Cool. And it's passing in this data. So the post, the author, and the metadata. And then it's just passing in here. Cool. And this event is for the analytics. So let's leave that in there if you want to make sure analytics works. Cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and make that view in posts. Let's make one called show. Again, I have no layouts here, so let's just do this. And the title is going to be the title of the post. So that's being passed in. So it is a data uh, data variable. And within it, there is a post field. And there is a field on that called title. And we're going to use this too in the actual markup. So let's make it an H2 with the title. And let's make the body right here. Okay, actually this should be escaped because there's HTML in there. Cool. Now, did I do everything correctly? So did I change this? Okay, so now it's a link. And it looks like it's going to the right view. Blog.show not found. So if you go into the post controller, this should be posts.show is what I named it. So let's change that. Cool. And there is our post. Is that the image I chose? Let's see. So we can edit it from within the admin. Okay, cool. It is. So again, it's up to you to style this. And there is our code, but it's not being syntax highlighted. So that's something we have to do ourselves. We can do that easily. I'm just going to make use of highlight JS. So let's just go back to our show blade and let's just add a few things here. So there are different themes with highlight JS. I'm going to make use of one of them called Dracula. I'm just going to add that CSS up here from a CDN. And then I am going to grab a link here that just pulls in highlight JS from a CDN as well. So let's put it right here. And then there's just some code you have to initialize highlight JS, which is on their documentation page. And that's about it. So now we should have syntax highlighting. Cool. Okay, so let's take a look at tags. If you remember, I added a tag for the post and a category as well, which is basically the same thing. So I'll just show you tags. So again, there is example code here already. So we want to be able to click a tag and show all the posts with that tag. So as you can see, there is a route for it here. Get posts for a given tag. So we'll make use of this. Let's go back to our routes file. Let's put it underneath here. And it's going to go to tag slash slug. And usually I would make a new controller for this, like a posts tag controller. But I'm just going to put it in this controller here. And we're going to make a get posts by tag method. And we'll name this tag.posts.show. Okay. Sorry, I forgot the name method. Cool. And let's go to posts controller. And let's add that. And it's called get posts by tag. And it's already here. So I'm just going to copy this. And we're going to paste that in here. Cool. And it's indent. So it's checking if there is a slug, at least one slug. And if there is, then it will pass in the posts here. So this is all fine. This changes to get again. We're just using, we're not using pagination here. And it's also passing the slug. So let's just say slug. 
slug. Cool. And I'm going to make another view here called posts.tag. And that should be good. Let's go ahead and make that view. Tag.blade.php. Again, no layout. Say tag here. And this will show the tag that we're currently viewing. So it's, it's data slug. That's why I passed the slug in. Okay. And then we can make an, an order list and for each. So we have access to the posts because we're passing it in here. So we can just loop over them. Data posts as post. And we just want to show it up, show it here. So we did this already in our index. So we can basically copy that. We can just copy this entire thing. Or if you just want the title, yeah, let's just put the title in there. And we can just do that. And that should do it. So let's see if this works. So we are in our show view. And now at the bottom, it should show. Actually, no, I didn't do that yet. We have to go to our show blade and add the tags here. So new section here. And let's just say h3 tags for this post. And we just want to check if there is at least one tag. So we can just do if data post is coming in here. And we have a method, a tags method or tags relationship on it. We can call count. It's greater than zero. Then we can do div. And we can do for each data post tags as tag. And then again, we can display this however we want. So put in a div or put in a span and style it accordingly. And this will go to a route. And this will just be tag name. Okay. And this route will be what did I name it? I named it tags.post tags tag dot posts dot show. Tag dot posts. Uh, I think it should be index actually. Yeah, so let's change that to index. Doesn't matter, whatever you name it. And we have to pass in the tag slug. Okay, hopefully I did that correctly. And let's see if it shows the tags now. And there it is. So the tags for this post front end. And now we'll go to that page with all the posts tagged front end. So if I made another tag here for this post, that should show up as well. So if back into our back end. Let's go ahead and go to general settings. Let's add another tag here. So let's say back end as well. Cool. Done. Save. And now this should have two tags. And it does. Cool. And that works as well. Cool. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Everything's handled for you already. The back end is already created. And all you have to do is style your front end accordingly and retrieve the posts. So like I said, it does come with a theme, which you can see here. It's making use of Bootstrap if you just want a default theme out of the box. So all you have to do to do that is just run this command, PHP Artisan Canvas Setup, and add a dash dash data if you want. Some dummy blog posts in there, and you'll get this. And yeah, it's a pretty nice standard theme. You can see all the posts here, all the tags. And... Here's how the single blog paste or single post page looks. And here are the tags. So yeah, if you need a blog up and running quickly within your Laravel app, be sure to check out this package.